everyone, I am back with another video. I know it's been such a long time since I filmed. I think it's been, I want to say maybe almost two years. A lot has changed in my collection. I've bought some, I've sold some, and I figured why not do an updated collection video. So I think I might just go in order of which bags I added to my collection in chronological order. The first bag you would have already seen if you guys had watched my um, Louis Vuitton collection video I think two years ago was the first video I ever uploaded yeah I think it was 2015 first bag that started it all the bag that um, was gifted to me for my 22nd birthday was this this is the speedy 30 in the bandolier in the Damier Ebin print my partner had gifted to me this bag for my 22nd birthday so I've had it for two years now I still love this bag to bits. Um, she's held up really well. I think also because I do look up. I mean, I do use my bags, but I do look after them as well. Um, currently in it, I just have a moisture absorber. I don't use my bags during the week. Like I work in an, I work in a science lab, so I don't really bring my bags to work. So on the weekends is when I get the chance to like utilize my bags, use them, enjoy them. So while they're not in use, I actually get these um, moisture absorbers. Prevent the bag from getting that like. You know that storage smell when you like saw a bag for so long and it hasn't been used and it's just like not getting like the air? I use this in my bags. It says, helps prevent mold and mildew, freshens by combating musty odors, dries up dampness in small spaces. So these are really good. I think I just got them from the supermarket. So I just leave that in this bag when I'm not using it. Another thing I do keep inside my bag is an organizer. I don't know if you can see. Hopefully you can, just in there. The purpose of the organizer is just to protect the lining of my bag um, in case anything spills or I get pen leaks. I just, I think I would cry <laughs> if that happened to my bag. So I like to um, just use an organizer to prevent that. And also the organizer is actually really handy for those of you that need to have your items in a certain spot like you don't like to like fish around for your items and you don't like things like rolling around in there um i definitely recommend the smogger organizer it's got um a drink compartment you can put bottles or perfume or sunglasses case and then all around it's just got pockets like that and it sort of helps um the bag not sag as much when you put your items inside I just have a luggage tag and a Lauder H charm on the front, so I think that's really cute and I don't know, I, just, I love this bag. She's always going to be my number one because this bag just has so much meaning to me. I'm never going to let her go and I think I'm going to have her forever and ever and ever. So yeah, this is the first bag that I ever got into my collection. So if you guys had watched my previous um, Louis Vuitton unboxing, you know that I added a Speedy 30 in monogram to my collection. However, I decided to sell that bag because, I don't know, I just, I felt like to have a Speedy 30, it's quite a big bag as it is. And like, if I have a big bag, I'm going to fill up the bag. So it gets heavy. And that bag, it was only a top handle bag, so I just felt like I wasn't getting the use out of it. So I decided to sell that for my birthday, I think last year. Um, it was around the same time that I got my first full-time, you know, study related career related industry job so i rewarded myself with a bag is the Almad bb oh she's so beautiful um this bag i bought like i said a year ago and it was just a birthday present to myself and kind of like a congratulations for landing my first full-time job i guess so this bag does come with a strap um, the original strap that came with this bag is actually way too long for me because I'm very short So it was too long for me. So I ended up selling the strap And this strap I actually purchased from Malto M-A-U-T-T-O dot com. So it's just a um, Leather strap and it's got the gold clasps, so it matches the bag really well um, I do keep this bag stuffed when I'm not using it, so let me just take that out. So the inside, it's just the red, and it's got 
one slip pocket here which I don't really use um, it's got feet on the bottom four feet there there is a lock but I don't keep the lock on the bag because I feel like it's annoying to get in and out of um, you've got the clochette which I did get hot stamps with an M and the keys for the lock are just inside I don't know if you can see but they're just in there so yeah this is the Alma BB I've had this for a year and I mean she looks like she's brand new like I I do look after my bags but I do use them um, there's no really scratches on the leather or anything I mean the feet there's a bit of scratching on the feet if you can see there I don't know if that's gonna focus but apart from that this bag has held up really well um, you can either wear it on the shoulder crossbody in the crook of your arm like this or you can just hold it like this to go dinner. I think it's a really cute bag, so that is it. So that is the Alma BB, and again, I've had this for a year now. So the next bag that I added to my collection was a gift to me, I think it was last year for my birthday. Um, my partner got me this, which is the Poche Accessoire in the Damio Bean. Um, this comes with like a little shoulder strap, but I sold it because I knew that I was never going to wear it like on the shoulder like that. I just, I don't know. I mean, kudos to you if you like to wear yours like that, but I don't. So I basically used the strap from my Alma BB to wear as a long bag. Like that. Um, I really love this bag. I think it's the perfect crossbody when you don't want to, when you want to be hands free. Um, it doesn't fit all that much because I mean, the base is only that wide and it tapers up at the top. So if you were to fit a lot in, you wouldn't be able to close it and the zipper would kind of go funny. I think it's like a perfect traveling bag, like when you don't want to carry too much, you just want something close to your body. I'm planning on bringing this bag when I go to Japan next year, but um, yes. This is the Poche Accessoire. And so I always keep my bag stuffed when I'm not using them just to keep the shape. So like pretty much most of bean, I think maybe all Damiero bean bags, they come with the red interior. And this just has one little pocket on the side, which I have the cards here. So if you were interested, Yep, so that's the style number if you guys were interested. And yeah, so this is my pochette accessoire. Another reason why I really love this um, bag is that it's so versatile. You can use it as a clutch, you can use it as a catch-all, you can use it as a makeup bag if you really wanted to. Another um, option I have to wear this is you can just add like a gold chain. I just got this from um, eBay. And I would just maybe hold it as a clutch, go out like that. Um, or you can take it off this side, clip it onto this side and just use it as a wristlet if you wanted to. Um, whatever really, but I really love this piece. So yeah, this is the pochette accessoire in the Damio Bean. The next bag I have is not really a luxury bag. It's more of a mid-range bag. So I purchased this when the Gucci Soho Disco bag became really popular and everyone was getting it and I just, I didn't want to commit myself to paying, I think it was $1,300 at the time, I think it's $1,355 now, but the Gucci Soho when it first came out, I just didn't think it was like, ooh, wow, like I just, I don't know, I didn't love it enough to want to spend that price tag, but at the same time I really wanted to try it out just because so many people were raving about that bag. So I found this bag. It is a Rebecca Minkoff um, Mab camera bag. I think it's, I'm not sure what the color is, but I think it's just pink. So this is the bag. How cute is it? Um, so yes, it pretty much resembles the Gucci Soho Disco bag with the tassel, um, except this has the gold, um, what is this called? gold hardware I guess and gold hardware there and this leather feels really nice I've worn this with jeans I've worn it with black tights and so far I don't really see any color transfer I mean 
I feel like this leather is coated with like a plastic or something on top just to protect it. I, f I don't know if you can see that, like, I don't know. But I just really love this bag and I tend to wear this bag crossbody. So just like this, just like that, crossbody. I use this bag pretty much any time that I want to bring a nice bag but I don't want to risk it getting dirty or ruined. Um, I've bought this bag overseas with me to Bali. I've brought this bag grocery shopping. I've brought this bag to music festivals. It actually fits a lot because of the shape. It's basically um, a square. So inside, I keep my bag stuffed. Inside, it's just um, plain. There's only one slip pocket at the back, which I don't really use. But um, yeah, I think this bag is really cute. They have so many different colors. I think they come in like black with black hardware, black with silver hardware. They have red, they have blue, they have metallics. Um, but yeah, if you were interested in this bag, maybe check out her website or I think you can get them from Shopbop as well or Farfetch sometimes has it as well. So again, this is the Rebecca Minkoff MAB camera bag and that is in the pink with the gold hardware. I love this bag. <laughs> so sticking to the pink theme, this is not a luxury high-end brand either. It's more of a mid-range, I think. I'm not really sure where this brand classifies itself. But it is the Furla bag. This is the Furla Julia bag. And the colour is Moonstone. So to open it, I, I just, I love the gold. Like, I think it's so beautiful. To open it, you just squeeze in this and it flips up. And inside, I think, I'm not sure if this is like a suede or a microfiber, but it feels really nice and luxurious. And then, you've got the gold chain, so it just looks like that. And I usually just wear this on my shoulder. I think it's really cute. Um, it doesn't have feet at the bottom, which, I mean, I don't really mind because this leather, even if, you, I feel like even if you get anything on it, it's easy to wipe off with a baby wipe anyway. This bag I got from the Furla outlet on 50% sale. So I think the original price is, I want to say 600 and I got it for 300 I would not pay 600 for this bag. I mean, I don't think it's worth it. I mean, it is really, really well made. Um, Furla is an Italian brand, I believe. But um, yeah, it's just a really cute bag it doesn't fit all that much to be honest it's quite small and if I were to use this bag I would have to use a card holder I don't think I would be able to even use like a compact wallet because that would just take up way too much room but the plus is this bag does have um, card slots so even if you didn't want to use a card holder you could just put your cards in there and then you'll still have plenty of room for everything else like your keys, your phone, lip gloss, makeup and tissues and whatnot. So again this is the Furla Julia in the Moonstone colour and I think I only have two pink bags. So comparing the pink of the two bags that I have, this is the Rebecca Minkoff and this is the Furla. So this is bigger and it fits so much more and it's, I think this was 200 and this was 600 originally so I don't know but I love both of these bags and I don't think I would ever get rid of them so yeah these are my two lower end bags so I don't know if you can see the bag is now missing because I'm going to show you the next bag and this is the speedy 25 in monogram in the bandolier style so it has the um, side straps which are still on my shelf but yeah, I have a luggage tag on this. I actually bought this luggage tag from a personal shopper in the States. Here in Australia, you can't get the Love Heart um, hot stamp as of yet. So I really wanted one and it's just so hard to get a luggage tag anyway because I don't own a luggage piece. So I had to go through a personal shopper. I did pay quite a bit for this. I'm, I'm ashamed to say how much I paid, but... Um, I think it's beautiful and I think it goes perfectly with my bag. And in this Speedy, like 
my other speedy i do have a bag organizer i have the small gut organizer in the one with the removable um inside so if you didn't want these pockets you can just take it out and just use um the organizer without that I honestly haven't really used this bag all that much. I think I've used it twice. Um, I bought this for my birthday this year as a gift to myself because as I do every birthday, but um, I don't know, I just, I haven't really had the chance to use this bag. I mean, I think a part of me is kind of nervous about all the shadow on it, but um, I will, I will use this bag. I just think maybe now that it's becoming summer here in Australia, it will hopefully rain less, so I won't have to worry about water spots. But um, yeah, that's, that's my Speedy 25 in the monogram. I just think this luggage tag is so cute, and I think it just goes so well. Um, this bag, this bag I usually wear on the crook of my arm like this, or I will just use the shoulder strap and wear it that way. So that is my Speedy B25 in the monogram. So the next bag I have is actually an inspired bag. So it's not a fake bag. It's an inspired bag by a company called Fashion Drug. I actually found them on Instagram um, and I had always wanted the Givenchy Antigona but I just couldn't justify the price for it. Especially since, I don't know, I just wasn't sure if I would like the style or not. So I went on to Fashion Drug and I found this bag. Um, for I think I think I paid 150 Australian dollars which is including shipping from the Netherlands so I think that's a really good price and this bag is genuine leather it's I can smell the leather from here it smells beautiful the bottom has feet I actually just use this bag to work um, it's good because I can like bang around this bag and I don't have to worry about it I mean you can't really see any scratches on it Feet at the bottom are still in really good shape and I've like used and abused this bag. Um, it does come with the shoulder strap. This, or you can just hold it like this or as a top handle. So the Givenchy bag has the logo right here. This does not because it is not a Givenchy bag. It's not trying to be. It's just a very inspired bag. And the inside of the bag, it's quite spacious. I like it. Oh, I have some <laughs> I have some food in here, um, but it has a pocket at the back, which is quite roomy, and then on the front, it's got two slip pockets as well. I don't really see any chipping on the hardware or anything like that. Like if you guys are after um, the Givenchy Antigona and you really just can't afford it or you don't want to, maybe check out Fashion Drug. Um, they have a lot of decent inspired bags and yeah so this is just my work bag from Fashion Drug. Next bag I have to show you is the most recent bag I have added to my collection and this is none other than the Gucci Soho Disco Bag in the rose beige colour. I'm a member of a Louis Vuitton Facebook group and someone in that group I think a few weeks ago posted saying that this bag worked out to be 914 Australian dollars from um, this website Lindell Palais. I think I think that's how you pronounce it. As soon as I saw that, I'm like, oh my god, I have to get it because I've been wanting this for so long, but I just could not justify paying 1300 for it. And I'm so glad I got at the price that I did because, yeah. I haven't used this bag yet just because I haven't had the time to, but I'm sure I will love it because I love my Rebecca Minkoff one. Actually, let me compare the two. This is it next to my Rebecca Minkoff. As you can see, this is a slightly larger, so I know that this will fit a lot more than this, even though this already fits a ton. I know it'll go with everything because it's a nude colour, and my only worry is that um, I'm really scared that I'm going to get colour transfer on the back, but I guess I just won't wear this bag with jeans or anything because I don't want that to happen to my bag. That's the top. They both have gold hardware. Both don't have any feet on the bottom. And I can't wait to use this Gucci bag because I know I will get a lot of wear out of it because I love this one so much. And this being a nude, I think it will just go with everything. Final bag I have to show you guys is a backpack. Um, I think backpacks are really in right now. I just really wanted something that I could distribute the weight evenly between my shoulders and bring it to work. This is the Michael Kors Rhea backpack in the, I believe this is a small or medium. 
I'm not too sure of the colour, but it's this like dusty pink colour. So it's got studs on the bottom, it's got a dual zip. In here, I just keep like hair ties and bobby pins and anything small that would fit in there because I don't want to bulge it out too much. When you walk, because you've got your um, metal zips and then you've got your studs, it makes a lot of noise. Like, I just feel like, I don't know, I, just, I feel like I'm like a little kid in like primary school when I wear this bag because it just makes so much noise, but I think I'm used to it now, so I don't mind it as much. With the straps, they are adjustable. I have mine on the shorter setting, so there's a lot of leftover um, leather. And I've worn this bag with jeans, I've worn it with black tights, and I don't see any color transfer on it so far, which is good. So this is the Michael Kors Rhea backpack. So that concludes my updated bag collection video. I hope you guys found that entertaining interesting I don't know but let me know if you would want a updated small leather goods collection video or if you wanted an in-depth review on any of the bags I have mentioned today for now thanks for watching and I'll see you next time bye